Hey, good day teachers. I'm going to show you today how to use an add-on called Photos to Slides in order to quickly make a end of the year slideshow for your class. So um, I've just started a slideshow here from scratch. There's only one slide in it. Um, other things that I've done ahead of time is I have created a folder in Google Drive and put all the photos that I want to move into my slideshow in that folder. That's an important part of the process. Um, I also found an MP3 of the music that I want to use for my slideshow and I have that sitting in Google Drive as well. So let's get started. We go to the add-ons. And if you haven't gotten the add-on yet, you go down here to get add-ons. It is called Photos to Slides. So we'll type it in here. And right there it is. And that's what it looks like. And you can see that I already have it installed. And so we're ready to use it. So we go to this add-on and we click on Photos to Slides and then slide over to Album Selector. If you use Google Photos, it connects with Google Photos directly and you can actually go, here's your, my list of all my um, albums that I have already in Google Photos and I can just click here to import a whole album. That's one way you can do it. For our purposes today to demonstrate, I made a folder in Google Drive. So I'm going to click this. The picker comes up, it is looking at my folders in Drive right now, and I need to find the folder that I put my photos in, and here it is right here. Um, you might want to name it cleverly so you can find it easily, like maybe sort A to Z, have a start with an A. Click Select, and now the add-on is going to get to work putting those photos in my slideshow and so it has already done its job here so you can see the photos that I had in that folder photos that are sh this size will come in with a black background if it's large enough it'll just come in and it will fill up the whole entire slide so it does import with that black background so it looks really nice all right we can close that window out now go back to our first slide and let's go ahead and put some music in for our slideshow so we can find um, the ability to insert audio under the insert menu and audio and you do need to have this mp3 that you're going to use saved in Google Drive um, you want to be considerate of copyright here so if you're planning on publishing it to the web to be shared publicly like on social media you're not going to want to pick um, licensable music you're going to want to find something that's Creative Commons or free to use I'm going to pick my MP3 and click select and slides is going to toss that right down onto my first slide. It automatically opened up this format options window. If that doesn't automatically open for you, you can usually find it near the end of the row here or by clicking on the three dots and going to format options. These are the options that you want to choose. You want it to play automatically, so it'll start as soon as you click play on your show. Um, you can adjust the volume here, up or down. I'm going to leave my volume turned up very loud and let people decide how loud they want to have their volume turned up. I'm going to choose to hide the icon so it won't show in my slideshow. I'm going to loop the audio so it will continue to play after it finishes. And I'm going to uncheck this box because I don't want it to stop on the slide change. I just want it to be playing under my show, my show the whole time it is working. All right, so I'm going to close that menu out. We're all set there with our music and our photos. So now all we need to do is publish it to the web and make it play. Under the file menu, you will see the option to publish it to the web. You want to select that. And the default here is that the slides will advance every three seconds. There's some other choices. If you really want um, to spend a little more time per slide, you can choose five. I like three. I like a fast slideshow. Here we go. We're going to put check marks in these two boxes so it'll loop. And the last step is to click the button that says publish. It'll ask me if I really mean what I'm saying, and yes, I do.
and now we're going to do what they are telling us to do, which is press Control C to copy that link. This is the link that you can share with parents or share um, onto social media to show your slideshow, which is going to be playing on the web. To test what that'll look like, I'm going to open up a new tab, go up here in the Omnibox, paste that link, and hit enter, and with any luck, our slideshow will play. Tonight, I'm gonna have myself a real good time. All right, that is all there is to it. If you have any questions, as usual, see your ITRT.